guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out luxury makeup. Not like high-end Sephora makeup, but like luxury makeup. Like, you know, the kind of makeup that makes you go, oh my god, it's how much? So I have some products that were sent to me by both Burberry and Guerlain. So I figured I would kind of compile them together and create a makeup look for you, testing them out, first impressions, and let you know if I think that they are worth the luxury price tag. There are some definite good products and some definite not so good products. So if you guys want to know what I think and see what luxury products I'm testing out today, hear my thoughts and whether or not you need to get them in your life, then keep on watching. All right, so I have two packages. I have this one that's big and beautiful, and then this little one here. I also have information pamphlets explaining what all the products are. So I think I'm going to just take all of the products out of the boxes, just see what we have, and then I'll kind of know what I'm working with to put together this look. In the first box, I have this primer. Then I also have some sticks here. I have the face contour stick the Fresh Glow Highlighting Luminous Pen, and the Lip Contour. Oh, has this beautiful highlight in it. The Fresh Glow Highlighter. There's a little piece of plastic on it, so let me take that off so that you guys can really take, get a good look. Oh my goodness. Um, we're going to have to swatch this doesn't look like it has all that much. I mean, that was three swipes in the tub, so I don't know. And then in this little box, we have some more products. We have a little nail polish here, Black Cherry. It's really, really pretty for fall. This is the Wet Dry Silk Eyeshadow in the shade Antique Blue. Then I have a little mascara. I also have this little Burberry Kisses lipstick in the color Russet. And then I also have this Liquid Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Fawn. A little swatch. It's like a really pretty rose toned color. Oh, and I wanted to throw in some Guerlain. Since we're talking about luxury makeup today, I have the Guerlain Meteorites Birthday Candle Pearls. These are a birthday edition. I think it's like their 30th birthday of these meteorites. So this is what the container looks like. And you open it up. And there's a little poof inside and there is the little pearls. Now, I didn't really know what these were for, but from what I understand, you're supposed to swipe them and put them all over your face as sort of a finishing powder. So I guess that's what we will do with that. Also, the package came with this brush. And it's a little baby brush and has the Guerlain logo on it right here. And the bristles are pink and they're like really soft. And then we have these easy strobing sticks. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is the stick. Looks like a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. But we already have some cream products from Burberry, so I don't know if we'll get to this one. I guess let's uh, get this party started. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start out by applying this primer. It does have a nice pump. The shade is Nude Radiance. It pumps them out. And it looks like this. And it definitely looks like it has a luminosity to it, almost like a liquid highlighter. It smells kind of clean. It doesn't have a heavy scent to it. It does feel very hydrating. It has like just a moisturizing texture to it, like a lotion. Yeah, it's nice. Is it $50 nice? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so there wasn't a foundation in here, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my own foundation 
and also my own concealer because there isn't a concealer in here either. And then I will come back to apply the cream contour and cream highlight. Okay, so my foundation is on, my concealer is on, my concealer is set just like the center of my face so that I could do the cream products. And I also did my brows because there are no brow products in here either. So now I'm going to move on to the cream contours. These are the two sticks. One is a highlight, but it's a cheek highlight, and the other one is a contour, and that is this one here and the color it is number one medium and I'm gonna swatch it here so that looks like it'll work for me right now I think and then the cream highlighter this is what that looks like that looks pretty and that color is nude radiance nude radiance number one so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying I'm gonna apply to my cheek. I'm kind of bringing it up a little because I just kind of want a higher cheekbone today. It's a nice color. And I'm going to add some up here, just a little, and then a little to the nose. I never, ever contour my nose. Only time, like I just put bronzer on my nose just so that like my whole face looks uniform but I never contour my nose. This is a very creamy product. It is just gliding on. Doesn't smell like anything. Okay so now I'm taking my L'Oreal sponge and I'm going to just start blending that out. Whoa, it blended out in like a second. Whoa. I went to blend it out and I feel like it disappeared. Alright, let's see. Oh, I feel like, did it do that again? Maybe I didn't put enough on, oh, no, I can see it on my cheek. It's just like a subtle little shadow. It blends out in two seconds. But I'm having a tough time figuring out if you can see it once it's blended or not. I'm not add a little bit more up here because I didn't put that much up here I just want to see okay yeah okay it's very natural looking yeah it's beautiful I mean now that I'm looking at it it just blended out in two seconds and it's really natural looking. It doesn't look like heavy contour at all. And I don't, I mean, the formula, it just, it almost just disappeared. And it's shade medium. So after I added a little bit more product, it showed up a little bit better. I don't know, I like it. I think it, it looks really pretty. So I'm going to now take the highlighting stick and I'm just going to put that on the high points. Above the brow. So this isn't blending out quite as easily as the bronzer, but it is really pretty. And I mean, it is blending out nicely. It's just that contour, like that blended out so fast. I kind of can't even believe it. That's really pretty. And I'm not usually into cream contour, but I really like this. Look at how much brightness it just brought to my face. I never put highlighter there and I did that just to kind of see. That brought a lot of glow. And how natural does that look? It just looks like I have this like beautiful glow. So I want to find out some information on these Guerlain Meteorite things because I want to know if I can set my face with them. Alright, so it says about these that they warm up the complexion and bring radiance to all skin tones. 
The harmony combines gold pearls to fight dullness, pink pearls to reveal glow, and champagne and white to reflect the light. All in a birthday case inspired by the first 1987 meteorites case. So I'm going to say that this is probably a finishing powder, more designed to add at the end. So I'm going to actually go in with my Urban Decay Velvetizer in a fluffy brush. This one is from Flower Beauty. And I'm just going to dust that off and lightly set the rest of my makeup. All right, so I am going to go ahead and add bronzer and blush, and then I'll be back to add highlighter and to then move to the eyes. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my bronzer and my blush. I'm loving the way all these products are playing together. Everything looks really good. I'm really happy with my face makeup right now. I do want to bake the center where my pores are, and I'm going to do that with my Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder, just because I always do this, just right here. And this just helps minimize the look of my massive pores. I don't go anywhere near the underneath of my eye, though, because that will dry me out. I do like to put some on the sides of my mouth as well. So I did prime my lids with my concealer, and I set that. So, because I only have one single eyeshadow here, I'm going to go ahead and use my bronzer for my transition shade. I'm using my Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Bronzed Bondi, and I'm just going in with my fluffy brush. This one is Zueva 228 Crease. And I'm just going to apply that right into the crease for my transition. This is the eyeshadow. Again, this is called Antique Blue, and it comes with this little stupidness that we don't need. I'm going to just swatch this color. Oh my gosh. One finger swipe. Wow. And it's not a color that uh, is my comfort zone. I'm not going to lie makes me really nervous and it's one shadow so we're gonna have to try to um i think i'm gonna try to make like a smoky look out of it and um see what happens so i'm gonna go in with a flat brush this one is my zueva 234 and i'm gonna dip into the shadow and one dip this is the color payoff so it's a lot of color and i'm just gonna apply that onto my lid And I'm just pressing it in. I have no idea what's going to happen with this look, you guys. It might be awful. And I'm just going to keep building that color up close to the lash line. And that's good for right there. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This one is the 227 by Zoeva. And I'm going to just start buffing out the edges. And bringing it into the crease. I think I'm gonna like I want it to like gradually fade you know what I mean so it's like a, a smoky eye that looks like multiple colors but it's actually just one color. Well I can say that the shadows are very pigmented and they blend out really easily. That actually is doing almost exactly what I wanted it to do. And I just want to clean this up a little bit. I don't want to add any product into the crease at all because I really want it to like fade up. So I'm just gonna continue to repeat these steps. There is a tiny bit of fallout, but considering this color, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it's so minimal, I'm into it. All right, so I am going to wipe away this bakeage right here. And I have to say, I really like these shadows a lot. You know, I only got to try this one color, so it's hard to say, but I feel like they're very buttery they are very pigmented and they blend out really nicely. 
And considering this color scared the crap out of me, I kind of am liking how this is coming out so far. All right, so I am going to now add, well, I guess I could do highlight. Well, no, I'm going to go ahead and add my liner and my lashes, and then we'll be back and I will finish the entire face. All right, so I did liner. I used the It Cosmetics Superhero Liner, and the lashes are from the Pure Pro Lash Collection. This is the style Bombshell, and I love pure lashes. And I also applied some of that blue shadow on my lower lash line, as well as I put some liner inside my waterline. I did the Marc Jacobs Highliner in, in the buff. I put that in the inner half. And then I did Odyssey, which is this like metallic-y blue-green color. And I did that in the outer half. So that's what I've got going on right now. And I did use some of this mascara as I was putting on my, my falsies just to prep my lashes. And I forgot to film that. But I do want to say I am obsessed. First of all, this is what the wand looks like. This is a mini size. I wish it wasn't. That's kind of upsetting. But I figured out why. Because this box is called the Burberry Beauty Box. So it actually comes with all this stuff in it. You buy it as like just a little beauty box. And it has the little lippy, the polish, the mascara, and the shadow. I'm going to just pop this onto my bottom lashes. So you guys can see the mascara in action. I love it. It is so pretty. I love this wand. It gets on every single lash. I usually don't like plastic wands like this. I'm usually like, I like more like thick, like bristly wands, but this one is doing it for me. I love the formula. Like look how long my lower lashes look. It's amazing. I love it. This eye look actually pulled itself together. <laughs> I don't hate it. I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with these meteorites. Came with this pink little brush, so I'm going to swirl that guy around in here. And then I'm just gonna do one of these. I'm just gonna do it to one side of the face just to see if it like does anything or what it does. All right, what do you guys think? Do you see a difference between this side and this side? It's hard for me to see in these lights, and I'm sure when I'm editing I, and I'm watching it back, I'll be able to have a better idea, but I feel like it almost does kind of airbrush a little bit, no? I feel like that looks pretty. I was really skeptical about these. I mean, I know they've been around for 30 years, but I'm like, what could these possibly do it's going to be worth the $62 price tag, you know what I mean? But they are really pretty. All right, I'm going to do the other side. They do, I will say, have a perfume scent, and I don't typically like that. I That's the problem with luxury makeup for me, is that it always has, like, a ton of perfume, and I'm not a fan of artificial fragrance. But that does look really good, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it me? Or did that just like kind of make me look better? I don't, I don't know. I feel like it did, but I don't know if it's in my head. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and highlight. I'm going in with this highlighter. This highlighter is... $68. Now I will say I love the packaging. It has the classic Burberry plaid print on the outside. It does feel very luxurious. There's a big mirror inside which is nice and then the highlighter is embossed with this like beautiful floral print thing. I'm gonna go ahead and swirl it around in there. Oh, that initial swatch wasn't doing it for me, but mm-hmm. That is whole oh, beautiful. 
I don't like highlighters that have like big chunky glitter in it. I like really fine, finely milled highlighters that just like give off a beautiful reflect. And I feel like that's what this one does. It's very um, fine. My first swatch, I didn't, I was, I wasn't sold, but wow, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna go in with the M501 swirl it around in there and just go ahead and go on my nose again cupid's bow a little right in here i actually think i'm going to use this to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone Ooh, yes i love that really pretty for an inner corner and if you use a lighter hand for the brow bone, it's really pretty for that too. Yes, I love this. I love this highlighter. I, I'm so surprised because my first watch, I was like, eh, for $68, like this highlight better be mind blowing. And the swatch was not mind blowing, but on the face, oh my God. I love what's happening right now, I love it. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the lips. Um, I'm going in with this lip contour crayon and the shade is called Medium. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I'm assuming it's like a, a lip liner but it has like a rounded tip and it's a contour crayon and it's shaded like a contour. It says medium number three. So maybe we are supposed to do this. It's a pretty color. I actually, I think I'm gonna just fill, go ahead and fill my, my lips in with it. This is very creamy. I don't understand the point though. I don't like that it's rounded if it's a lip liner, I would rather just have a pointed tip so I can get a cleaner application because right here I feel like it's kind of messy. Like going outside of my lip line, I don't like that. But I do like the color. I am going to go ahead and go in with this lip velvet. It's called Liquid Lip Velvet. And the shade is Fawn number five. It actually matches this perfect. Super creamy. This feels like very hydrating. It doesn't feel like a dry formula. This made a mess over here because of that contour though. All right, so I guess that's, that's everything. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and I'll be right back to let you know my thoughts on all of the products that I tried. Okay, so this is the finished look. I love the way the eye makeup came out. I love the way my skin looks. I don't really like the lip. I'm not feeling it. I don't know if it's just the color combination isn't working for me. I kind of wish that it was deeper and darker for fall since I have a, you know, fall color on my lid. But I don't really like the formula either. This is a liquid lip and it never dried down. It's called a liquid lip velvet. So I thought it was going to be a liquid lipstick and it's not. It definitely transfers. It's more like a lipstick lip gloss hybrid situation. Okay, so before I give you the recap of the products and my thoughts, I am going to do a giveaway and it's going to be one of these Guerlain Meteorites Baby Glow Touch Sticks in Rosy Glow and then this Burberry Lipstick in Russet. One of you will win these two products. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave me a comment down below and let me know what is the most expensive makeup product in your collection? Like, what have you splurged on? What was the thing that you were like, you know what? I'm gonna spend the money on that. I'm dying to know like what you guys feel like is worth it. So leave me a comment and you will be entered to win these little goodies and then check back. I will be announcing the winners on Twitter very soon. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and recap all of the products that we used and 
let you know what I think. So we'll start with the primer. This is the Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. I liked this. I feel like it is kind of making me almost a little bit too luminous in here. Just because of my skin type, I really don't necessarily want that in here. I like to be more matte because I do have bigger pores. It is a beautiful product, and if you're looking for luminosity, I think this is great. It actually, I think, would be great to add to a foundation to make it a little bit more luminous rather than use it as a primer. It is $48. Is it worth $48? Mm, I think that's like a personal preference. I feel like Becca has some primers that do the same thing that are, that are a little bit cheaper. But the packaging is amazing. It's heavy. It's got the Burberry print on it. It is beautiful. The cream sticks, these again, the contour and the highlight, they're both $37. It's a little bit pricey, but I did love the contour. I actually loved them both. I thought they were both great. I thought the contour was very, very natural for a cream contour. Usually cream contours are really like, you do cream contour when you want it to just like be almost a night out. It's going to be really intense. This wasn't intense. It was a much more natural look and I liked it and it blended out so fast. And the cream highlight, it was just a beautiful shade. It blended out. It gave a very natural, beautiful glow, lit from within glow, which I really appreciated. I, I liked these. I really did. Eye color wet and dry silk. I didn't try this wet, but I did use it dry and it was beautiful, velvety, pigmented, blended out, very little fallout, hardly any fallout. It's a very nice shadow. It's in that beautiful, same beautiful packaging. There is a mirror inside. Would I pay $29.50 for one eyeshadow? No, no I wouldn't. But if you want a really nice quality eyeshadow and you're looking for like one specific color, these are really nice. I personally wouldn't spend $30 on one single shadow when I could get an entire palette for that price. And these are very good quality and I really like the look. Like, I didn't think I was going to like this color on me, but I do. I, I do. I loved this mascara. So this was the Jet Black Number 1. It's just called the Burberry Cat Lashes Mascara. Love this. Love this. Loved the wand. Loved the formula. It made my lashes look long. It coated every single lash. This was awesome. Love this. So the full size is $30. Totally worth it. That's like an average high-end mascara. Most mascaras are somewhere between $25 and $30 at Sephora. So this is a good enough mascara and it's worth that much money for sure. Because I mean Lancome mascaras are up there in price and they're good and I've purchased them. This I would definitely buy. I loved, loved, loved this. The Guerlain Meteorites. This was nice. I liked this. I'm pretty sure it did something. It's very subtle, but I think that it just like airbrushes the face and it just like makes you look prettier. It just makes you look prettier. Is it worth $62? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that I would pay $62. For this powder. I feel like there are powders out there like this one that make me happier. Doesn't do the same thing as this, but I would rather spend the money on this powder than on this one. But again, that's a personal preference. I do think that this is very luxurious. It's very pretty. And I love the packaging. I think that this is something that, you know, you can keep on your vanity and especially with the pretty brush that it comes with and I don't know it's so French I just love it I think it's so pretty this fresh glow highlighter $68 so expensive for a highlighter but you guys I am obsessed with this glow like obsessed I loved this for an inner corner highlight I love it for the brow bone I love it for the face I love this. Love this. Would I spend $68 on a highlight? Listen, if it's the only highlight you're going to have, 
okay. Yeah. The average girl, though, I mean, I think this is a little bit much. I don't think you need this in your life, but it's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. So if, like, you're a makeup addict like I am and you're obsessed with highlighters, then, like, you're gonna want to get your hands on this because it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And this is the number four rose gold, and I just, I love the color on my skin tone. It's not too pink it's not too gold it's kind of somewhere in the middle I don't I, I just I love it the lip contour I didn't like it I did like the color I did like the formula it was a bit it was it was creamy but I don't I don't understand the point I don't like that it's rounded like the contour sticks I, maybe I'm just not I don't understand how you're supposed to apply this because to me this is like a kind of a lip liner lipstick hybrid situation and for $31 like I just don't I just think there are better things out there you don't need this and then the liquid lip velvet these are $34 there are 14 shades it didn't blow me away I think that it is priced about right but I have other lip products in my collection that I like way better like this this is giving me nothing I don't know I'm just not I just don't like it. I don't like it. So that is it for my luxury product review. I definitely think if there is one standout product of everything, it was the highlighter. And second would be the mascara. And third would be the cream contour. I think that those three products are the top three for me out of the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on social. I'm on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My handle is at Glam Latte. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.